Head over keels. Actual naval stories. Unsinkable Sam. A sailor's routine on Bismarck, Germany's exemplary battleship, consisted of the following. Wake up, have breakfast, sleep, have lunch, take a nap, then dinner, and go to sleep again. But only if you were a cat. And so this time, Oscar had a substantial breakfast and was about to go to sleep. However, his rest was rudely interrupted by a shrill alarm and people running around and shouting. The ship was rocking and shaking. Oscar's instincts were screaming, run away, get out of here. A powerful blow sent the panic-stricken cat flying and he ended up swimming in cold water. Oscar showed up on board a British destroyer, HMS Cossack. Life on this ship wasn't as serene as on Bismarck. Cossack was always on the move, escorting convoys, hunting submarines, or dodging their attacks. The ship's energetic maneuvers, tight living quarters, and noise meant Oscar couldn't find any peace. And when the cat finally adjusted to this, and found a cozy place to get some sleep. A submarine launched a torpedo that tore through the ship's bow. A few days later, abandoned by her crew, Cossack sank during a storm. Oscar was lucky again. He was sent to port on destroyer Legion. In the port, sailors presented the cat to the crew of aircraft carrier Ark Royal. Is this the same cat from Bismarck? exclaimed the commander. Well, old buddy, welcome aboard. Now you're our mascot. We'll call you Unsinkable Sam. The cat found a nice spacious room to settle into, from which he could observe the airplanes taking off from the deck. This was relaxing. Wait, what's going on? Not again! Clinging to a piece of aircraft wing by his claws, the cat cursed anything and everything, especially the man who had first brought him on board. A few days later, Oscar was ashore in the house of the governor of Gibraltar. Superstitious sailors decided not to take unsinkable Sam to sea again. After all, he'd sent three ships down the drain. The cat was more than happy with this decision.